Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be talking about how many hours I train per day in training camp versus how many hours I train per day outside of training camp. Now this is a requested video. I've been trying to get through as many requests as I can. I still have over like 50 to 100. There's a, just a massive list. But if you guys have your own request, drop it down below. Is the intros playing? All right, so we are talking about training hours per day. Now, something I wanna mention before we get into the episode is an announcement that I made yesterday, starting in March, I'm gonna be doing a follow along workout every day, but these are impromptu workouts. So we're talking about volume of training, hours of training per day. It's fantastic to get two, three, four hours per day, but not everybody has time for that. And realistically, not everybody every day has time to get two workouts in. But if you're getting your normal workout and you want something else, we're gonna be doing impromptu workouts. That's what I call them, short little workouts every day through March. If this is a challenge you guys are excited about, make sure you give the video a like. I will have more information on that coming very soon. And let's start off and let's talk about how many hours a day I train, what my training schedule looks like when I'm outside of training camp. So for myself, one of the things I realized years ago is when I'm outside of training camp, I do need to give my body a break because putting in those long hours when I'm in camp it has wear and tear on the body. My body starts to break down. I start to get more injured than normal. So I have to take that time where I just ease off quite a bit. And for myself, I'd say it's probably like 50% volume. We're knocking everything down by about half. Now I really do prefer to do two sessions a day. If I'm given the choice of doing a one two hour session or two one hour sessions, I will take the two one hour sessions. It's just my personal preference. But generally when I'm outside of training camp, I will wake up in the morning and I will do something between half an hour to an hour. Very often the half hour is more intense. I'm sort of driving everything into that half hour, really condensing it. If I'm doing an hour, it's a little bit more chill. When we get later in the evening or the early afternoon, I'll do my second session, which is very often again, half an hour to an hour. So overall through the day, we are talking somewhere between an hour and two hours of training. And I don't really care what kind of training it is. It could be cardio where I'm doing my running. It could be weightlifting, like very light weightlifting, more likely more like body weight exercises. I call it weightlifting, but I don't very often grab weights and lift them up and down. Or it might be some martial arts training, but it doesn't really matter to me what I'm doing as long as I'm staying active. I know when I get to training camp, I'm going to be fit and ready to start. So let's talk about training camp. Now when I'm really dialing in, when I really want to get on point for that 10 weeks before I compete, the first thing I'm looking to do Monday to Friday is wake up the first thing I'm looking to do in the morning, Monday to Friday, is to wake up and right away get some sort of cardio challenge in for my body. Again, it could be a body weight exercise sort of routine or it could be running, but that is generally when I get my cardio in. No martial arts involved, just getting in shape. When you're in Thailand or other spots in the world, they'll do two training sessions per day and both of them are related to martial arts. I've tried that before, but I found just I get a little bit worn down doing that and I am better off not doing a run and then martial arts. And then a second session where I do a run in martial arts, I do all my running in one session and then all my martial arts in the second session. So once I've got that first session done where I'm just focusing on my cardio, my conditioning, then I move into my second session, which is going to be focusing on my striking. In that session, we're looking somewhere at a time frame of as low as an hour up to two hours. I very rarely will go beyond two hours and I very rarely will be under the hour mark for a training session. It's really all dependent on how I'm feeling, how my body's doing and how hard I push. Again, two hours is a long time to go crazy hard. So if I go ridiculously hard, I find I can condense that down to an hour to an hour and 20 minutes. If the session is all about me, that means somebody's holding pads for me, somebody's holding the bag in place, somebody's doing drilling. There's nothing in the session that is not focused on me. I'm not doing anything else for anyone. Basically a personal training session just for me. And I will utilize those. And I utilize that schedule. Morning is cardio. Evening is martial arts all the way through the entire week until we get to the weekend. 
On the weekend, I'm going one session only on Saturday, and it is usually focused on cardio. Now, it doesn't mean there's no martial arts. It just means that when I get on the pads, I'm just focused on my conditioning. I push really hard. I hit the pads as hard as I can, or I'll go and do a really hard run. But on Saturdays, we're generally looking for 45 minutes to an hour, and that's it. And then I take all of Sunday off, and I have a nice recovery buffer time until we get back to Monday when it's time to train hard again. And that's really all I wanted to take you guys through today. I've talked on the channel about how often I train, but it's kind of just sprinkled here and there in episodes. I've never done a full episode and I was having many requests asking about my training schedule and the hours I put in. And to sum it up, if you made it to the end of the video, hopefully you did. You're here. Congratulations. You want all the information. If I'm in training camp, somewhere between two and a half hours of really hard training, or if it's a little bit more drawn out, more like four hours per day. If I'm outside of training camp, it could be as little as an hour, all the way up to two hours, if it's a little bit more chill and I'm working on more technical stuff. If you are an amateur athlete and you're not a pro like myself, you do not need to put in those type of hours. I would say each day, an hour to an hour and a half is plenty, and that's when you're in hard training. If you're outside of training camp and you're drawing back a little bit more, maybe more like 45 minutes to an hour, because I do realize People have time commitments to other things, school, work, family, all those sorts of things eat up your time. So if you're going to do sessions, make sure they're condensed. You're really taking advantage of every moment. And that is why those impromptu workouts, which we're starting in March, will be fantastic. You can just get a tiny little mini second session in every day, and it'll be two to four minutes. We're just gonna get that heart rate up, and then you're done. So I hope you guys make plans to join me for the entire month of March doing these impromptu workouts. Guys, if you enjoyed the episode, please give it a like. If you haven't already, join the channel get subscribed, train hard guys, and I'll see you back here soon for another video.